one of the things that's great about steam locomotives is they're external. You can see the rods moving, you can see the wheels moving, everything's flashing, everything's going, and when you do it in the winter time, steam escapes from every point on the engine. Every little bit condensates in the air, it makes for magic. And as the train goes by and you feel the ground rumbling underneath you, it, the train arrives in this beautiful billow of steam and uh, it really creates an interesting visual that you can't get at other times of the year. We like to think it's very unique to our experience here in Maine. One of the great things about uh, the campus here in Sheepskit, Maine is it's like stepping back into time. We do things here just like it would have been done in 1912. By actually operating these locomotives, the freight cars, the passenger cars, we're able to kind of catch a glimpse of what 1912 may have been in Maine. So many of these two-foot gauge railroads, they were actually started by the communities that they ran through. A lot of the towns in Maine are exceptionally remote. It's very cold. Today we're hovering around zero. And these people needed a way to get their goods to market. And those markets really consisted primarily of Portland, Boston, and points in Canada. These two-foot gauge trains, they weren't toys. They brought people to market. They brought coal to their homes. It shipped commodities from the interior of Maine down into Portland, down into Boston, to points in Canada. Monson Railroad, they supplied slate uh, and materials that were used in the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. And so that's how people made their money, that's how they made their living, and we want to make sure that we preserve uh, those stories of the past. WWNF and Maine Narrow Gauge, we're very excited to have been able to, to come together and collaborate on this uh, amazing opportunity uh, to present the steam locomotives, present the freight cars, the passenger cars rolling out on the main line. And it's the first time in over a hundred years that all these engines have been assembled. All of the remaining two foot gauge engines uh, in our collections are assembled in one place and we're calling it the Graham Reunion here at the Wiscasset, Waterville, and Farmington Railway Museum. Most of the volunteers that you see here, they've been getting up at 4.45 in the morning. They've been enduring the cold. Friday, we had an ice storm overnight. Uh, we came in yesterday morning and everything's coated in ice. It's harder to operate the equipment. It's more challenging for the equipment itself. Railroads don't like the cold, so everybody here has really made a commitment to show up, push through the cold, get the engines ready, there's easily 50 people on site on all three days of the Grand Reunion trying to make sure that we recreate the past and that everybody has an opportunity to enjoy the fun. But it takes a lot of effort. If you look at the numbers and you have 50 volunteers and most of them are putting in 12 hour days, uh, that's 600 volunteer hours uh, just per day. So it's pretty incredible. We came together because we're a family. It's a two foot gauge family. and. By combining the collections and allowing them to operate together, allowing people to uh, come in and crew the locomotives and crew the trains together, it builds camaraderie with us all and it makes us a lot stronger. For many years, the two-foot organizations have kind of existed in their own realm. They've existed in Portland, they've been here in Alma, Maine. When you bring everybody together, it makes us stronger and allows us to recreate the past in an even more dynamic way than we had before. It allows us to share the story about what made Maine such a great state and how the railroads impacted the state and the economy of the state. There are people here today, they're not even here to take photographs. What they're here to do is to experience the trains. They're here to experience the moment. They're here to enjoy the experience of seeing these great machines operate. And they're also here to take home a little piece of history and a memory that they can carry with them forever. Bye.